Shalom family, this is Grammy, y'all. I got a surprise for you guys. I got grapes, you guys. We're going to harvest our purple muscadine grapes. Well, they look purple, but I don't know if they're called purple, but they are muscadine grapes. But lo and behold, when we was on our way out here to harvest our grapes, guess what we found? We caught a rabbit. We caught a rabbit. We turned off the machines because we don't have any more peaches. We just went on and pulled the peaches off and the squirrels been eating the apples. Let me go over here to this apple tree. We had tons of apples on this tree. And the last time I looked, I believe it was one left and I think they got that one. Yeah, so we just turned off our little noise making machine. So when we turned off the machine, look who came hopping along. And I'm gonna take you along with us for the ride. And there was a lot of cantaloupe and watermelon in there and that rabbit done took it out. We wanna show you what Papa Y'all did to catch the rabbit. So what he's doing, he is just um, putting some cantaloupe and some watermelon rinds in there. We read that that's what they like. So if you have any problem with Roger the rabbit, <laughs> Throw some cantaloupe in there, a little watermelon rinds, and there you go. And so if you're interested in this cage, I'll leave a link to it off of Amazon. We're going to take you for the ride when we take Mr. or Mrs. Rabbit for a ride. But yeah, we're going to come over here and harvest these grapes. Shalom, Papa. Yeah. Shalom. <laughs> All right. You got your cutters, honey? Yeah. All right, here, yeah, I got that on. Let's see what we have here. You know, earlier in the season, we had the black jacks. They were stripping our grapevine, so we had to put the netting up. And so we eventually took the netting off. Hey, baby, down, those down there. Um, those down yeah, there. the ones that all okay. the way purple. Okay, here, here you go, honey. Right. Yeah, yeah, so. Ooh. All right, let's see what we got here. We got grapes. Oh, don't doesn't that look beautiful? Yes. You want to try one? <laughs> look at all these of y'all. I'll try it later. Okay. I'll try one. Yeah, I'll give you. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and there are plenty. Right. Yeah, I'm going to try one. Let me grab one. This is no pesticides, none of this. So you can eat right off of the vine. Let me turn you around. Let's see what we have here. They're kind of small. And let's see. Mmm, that's good. And they have the seeds in them. So I will be keeping the seeds. But you know with the muscadine grapes, you guys, the um the skins, the skins are hard, but the inside is so robust. They taste so, so good. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with these grapes. Besides eating them. <laughs> Maybe I'll make some grape jelly. That probably would work out pretty good. Look at that, look at that. And the bees are around here and the mosquitoes. So we're not gonna stay out here long, but we're gonna harvest these grapes. So I'll show you what we get once we harvest all the grapes. And then we're gonna go and get that rabbit and take you on the ride with us to release this rabbit. Oh, let me bring you over to this grapevine. This grapevine, 
I can't remember if these gonna be just the green ones or the purple ones, but they are coming in. Um, have you seen any of those Japanese beetles, honey? I think the, the I think the beetles are gone, I think huh? They're gone. Okay, yeah, so so that's why we went on and took off the um yeah, that's why we went on and took off the netting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if those stay green mm -hmm. or they stay purple. Look, honey, right there. Okay. See one over here. Okay. One. Yeah, I can see them because I'm standing far back. All right, family. Here is our harvest of grapes. This thing is heavy, 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 heavy. Yeah, probably about I say maybe about ten pounds of grapes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because when I try to lift it with one hand, it is very heavy. But they are beautiful, you guys. Yes. So, all right. Our next project, the rabbit. All right, here we go. You get ready to go for a ride, boo boo. <laughs> We can't have you around here roaming. Because I did notice um, one of the smallest little okra plants in my green beans, like on the outskirts of my garden. I've noticed that it looked like this rabbit been nibbling. So they don't come in the yard. They stay on the outskirts. And um, yeah, I, I believe she's been taking the tops off my green beans. So you have to go. All right. Woo. Here we go, y'all, it is so hot. What time is it? Is it 10 o'clock yet? Just about. I'm sweating. Woo. Let's go and take care of Mrs. Rabbit. <laughs> it is so funny. I'm about to tell my age because a lot of people, a lot of people um, probably don't even remember this cartoon when I was a little girl. <laughs> uh, can you remember that cartoon where this uh, animal, I can't remember if it was a dog or what type of animal that it was. So the, uh, the man used to catch the animal and take the animal far, far away, right? And um, I guess if you're over 50, you may remember this uh, cartoon. And then he would take this animal like far, far away, you guys. And then about time the man comes back <laughs> to the house, that animal done beat him back to the house. So, you know, so this is what me think about when we're going to take this rabbit. Put my seatbelt on. Yeah. This this what came in my mind we're going to take this rabbit like a mile away and then by the time we get back home this rabbit better not be at our house <laughs> so yeah that was a cartoon a long long time ago like i say if you over 50 you may uh remember that cartoon all right so we're almost at the destination we're gonna drop this rabbit off at the park here we go we're coming to the park going to be her new home. Here we go. Mind the noise. We are at a park. They clean up the park. They cutting the grass and everything. Guy over there with a weed whacker. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to be jumping out. Uh. 
I'm coming this way. Oh Lord. Oh look. Wait a minute. Let me let me get back in the truck. <laughs> I'm scared. Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Woo, look at her go. Wow. It took off so fast. You should have stayed up, stayed out, baby. I didn't know which way she was gonna go. I didn't want her to come hop in my way. There she go. Her new home. I think she'll be much happier out here. Cause she she took off she took off so fast you guys so i, I missed the footage because i didn't know rabbits could take off so fast and guess what she, she's running back in the direction of the house <laughs> all right so she has been released i think she would be much happier out here <laughs> it new is home. her new home right so it's so funny because when she took off she took off right back in the direction of the house y'all if i get home and that rabbit <laughs> is back at the house. I'm going to scream. <laughs> so, you guys, I just wanted to bring you along. I hope that you enjoyed it. I did. And I know y'all probably like, Grammy, why are you scared of a rabbit? I'm really not afraid of the rabbit. But by that rabbit being caged up, you know, um, something about when animals get caged up and then they get released, you know, I don't know what they're gonna do so you know i was just taking precautions so if y'all missed some of the the action i apologize but i got back in the truck because i didn't want to be in no harm's way all right so you guys <laughs> if you like this video please hit like share and subscribe uh i'm going to do something with those grapes probably some grape jam or grape jelly or something they are delicious i just got to get the seeds out of them and um hey and hopefully I can bring back some more exciting footage soon. All right, Papa Yah. Shalom. Shalom.